The whole concept of digital signature is something like the signature that we use in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, as you know, signature provides some level of assurance of a signer's identity. So digital signature provides the highest level of uh, assurance of a signer's identity. In previous video, I talked about asymmetric uh, encryption algorithm and I said uh, we have a pair of keys. So if you use one key for encryption, then you need to use the other key for decryption. Now, these keys have names. We have private key and public key. So when a person wants to use asymmetric algorithm, that person generates a pair of key. And these pair of keys are basically private and public keys. The private one remains with the person who generated the key. And the public one can be shared with the public. Let's say Alice has a pair of public and private key. And she wants to exchange some data with Bob. So she provides Bob with her public key and asks Bob to encrypt the message using her public key and send it back to her. So Bob has a clear text, a plain text, and he uses uh, Alice's public key, encrypts the message, and then forwards it to Alice. Now, this message that has been encrypted with Alice's public key can only be decrypted with Alice's private key. Remember, I said if you encrypt the message with one key, you can decrypt it with the other key only and not any other keys. So even if the whole crowd has Alice's public key, they cannot decrypt the message that was encrypted with Alice's public key. So Alice is the only one who has the private key. She can decrypt her message using her private key and see the content of the message. Now, what if Alice encrypts the message using her private key? So when she encrypts the message using her private key and forwards it to Bob, who can decrypt that message? Well, Bob can use Alice's public key and decrypt the, me uh, decrypt the message. So can the rest of the public. So what's the point of encrypting that message if everyone can uh, decrypt that message and see the content of the message? If someone encrypts a message using their private key, the whole concern is not the confidentiality of the message. So the concern is not really encrypting the message so that no one can see the message. The concern is to make sure the message came from that person, from the right person. So in this case, if Bob asks Alice to encrypt the message using Alice's private key, that means Bob doesn't really care that anybody sees the content of the message. What he cares here is that the message came from Alice and no one else. The whole concept is something like when you sign a check and you give it someone to take it to the bank and cash it. Bank doesn't really care how many people have seen that check and the content of the check and how much the value uh, of that check is. What they care is that the signature on the check matches the signature that they have on their file. And if those signatures match, then uh, the bank says, okay, the right person signed this, uh, this check. So when Alice encrypts a message using her private key, the only key that can decrypt that message is Alice's public key. So if Bob can decrypt the message, then Bob knows that that message came from Alice for sure. Now, if Tom, who is a bad guy, decides that to get his hand on the message and decrypt the message using Alice's public key and see the content of the message and change the message, then when he uh, encrypt the message using any key, including Alice's public key, and forwards it to Bob, then Bob cannot open that message using Alice's public key because that message was not encrypted by Alice's private key. So in this case, Bob knows that, uh oh, this message has been tampered with or this message didn't come from Alice. So Bob knows that the real sender of the message is not Alice and then he gets rid of the message. So that's the concept of digital signature, meaning encrypting a message using someone's private key and sending it out and asking someone else to decrypt it using that person's 
public key. Now we have an algorithm which is digital signature algorithm, but that's the topic of another lesson. But for now, I just want you to understand the concept of digital signature. All right, that's it for now, and I'll see you in another video.